Hey, this is John Young here with the Disc Jockey News. Today, we're doing something that I highly recommend you don't ever do unless you do what I did. Well, that's weird. Uh, this is an Alto. This is the TS-308. This is an 8-inch an eight inch two-way cabinet. And what we're doing is we're taking it apart today because I dropped it and it's out. That would not be covered by warranty. And the unit uh, doesn't, doesn't function. So I'm going to take this opportunity to take this apart a little bit and see if I can show you guys what's in here. And we'll uh, kind of dig into this together here. If I can do this without causing too much damage. And two point, if I do, so be it. Because the unit doesn't function. All I'm getting out of the um, out of the unit is is some highs, and not even the the really good highs. Oh yeah, there we go. I can tell you right now that the tweeter is loose in there, so we know that that's not not doing well. And this is going to be a long video. I'm not not going to uh, not going to really do this in a time lapse or anything. So you guys are going to get to see. For some of you, you don't really care. So goodbye. There's the door. See ya. See you, whatever. Uh, for a lot of you, you might find this of interest. And if you do, great. And some of you will look at this and say, oh, I would have done it differently. Yeah, that's okay. Go drop your own speaker. Then you can take your own speaker apart. That's all right. Arr. If you watch the video, by the way, where I talk about why I'm, I'm able to do this, you'll understand why some of these screws might be a little bit difficult for me to deal with. But I'm not going to lament on that. We are going to have fun. This is the kind of thing that we did as kids when those when our racetrack, when our, the cars on the racetrack stopped working. Oh yeah, we you know that we were taking them apart. When that flashlight stopped working, yep, that sucker came apart too. When that remote control car that it stopped working. Yep, took it apart and tried to figure out how we could put a different energy source or something in there. Oh, yeah. You were out there. You did the same thing. We all did. That's why we loved that gear and such. And why when we went to the DJ thing, it was so much fun is because we had that interest in the uh, in that electronics background. There's guys like Ben Stowe, Howie Darkstar, and those that took that information and actually did something with it and went more than just being destructive like I'm doing here. And they do a fabulous job with what they're doing. But I just like the destructive side. I like to take it apart. And if I can put it back together with a minimal amount of parts, that's a positive. So we've taken the front the front off. I wanted to kind of see what that looked like. And we could see that the tweeter looked like the tweeter was was uh, popped out. And I'm guessing that it, it, it basically broke it in half. And now we're going to take the back the back plate off if we can. Uh, no, that didn't really didn't give me two. Uh, there's probably people watching this and they're like, "Don't do it that way." Well, you know what? That's part of that's part of the process is seeing how we can get things to come apart. Um, I do think all the screws are out. Yes. Yeah, I'm seeing that uh, that tweeter is just bouncing in there. There we go. You just heard it fall. And let's see. Try to ease things out. Okay. So here is the tweeter. Goodness gracious. Right there, it is. It looks like it's it looks like it's screwed in. And there's a a little plastic there so it's kind of screwed into the the cone it looks like if you can see that I'll show you that it has threading on that and it looks like it uh, just completely popped out let's see so black is on the left just remember that I'll ask you this in a moment we're gonna try to screw this right back in if we can there we are So it doesn't it doesn't look like the uh, the horn assembly is cracked which is somewhat surprising I would think that the horn assembly should be should have been cracked and that's why this didn't uh, stay in there but it doesn't look like that's the case so we're going to put the tweeter in and it's tight ah, and it didn't come out at all okay do you remember black was on the that's right it was on the left. 
So we're going to hook this up again. And get that all hooked up in there. So the, the black has got a little bit of a different, a uh, smaller connection in there. So we've got to get it lined up properly. There we are. Okay, so those two are are in there. And let's see. The sub itself. The magnet's tight. And the connections are tight there. Hmm. Let's see. Is there anything on the board that looks loose? Where it must be an LED that goes down below there. Now we've got a wire right there that is sending a couple of things down to the bottom. So there must be an LED down there that we're not, not seeing. Um, everything else seems in one piece. So the only damage, that visible damage I saw was the, the tweeter that was out. I'm pretty pretty sure that it's still not going to function properly, but you know, just for this video, we're going to put two screws back in, and we're going to try it and see if, for some reason, that tweeter being out caused a bunch of issues. I just want to get two screws in, just so this isn't going to pop out unexpectedly. the volume down. Now I'm going to put a pause in the video here and I'm going to go grab grab uh, some pieces and such so we can hook this up. Well I just put power to it and you can hear this. Yeah you're hearing that noise so there's obviously something more wrong with it in the board and things. It was more than just the tweeter and of course that gets to the point where it's way beyond anything I could look at or do. But yeah, the tweeter's back in at least, and it's in, insecure, and nothing in there is showing signs of it being being uh, cracked or broken. So I wonder if that tweeter was actually all the way screwed in from uh, from the factory. But anyway, so this is kind of a look at the uh, the inside of the Alto, the TS308, and I'll just pretty much finish putting it back together, and then I might talk and see if I can get a new board from them or something and, and get this one fixed and use a, usable again. So anyway, this is John Young with This Jockey News. Not an exciting video here today, but hey, if you wanted to see the insides of a TS-308, there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.